This video is about the fourth and last phase of the Thirty Years' War, called the Swedish-French Intervention. Furthermore, the Peace of Westphalia will be explained. The last phase of the Thirty Years' War started in 1635. It was the Treaty of Wismar, an alliance of Sweden and France against Emperor and Empire. At the end of the war was the Peace of Westphalia. So far, the war had exhausted the Holy Roman Empire and all parties within the Empire, all parties involved, realized we can't go on, this will only, the war will only lead to further devastation. So the Emperor and the territorial rulers, Catholics and Protestants, signed the Treaty of Prague, for, made peace and formed an alliance against foreign powers. The foreign powers aiming to reduce the imperial influence were Sweden and France. As mentioned, the Treaty of Wismar, Sweden and France formed an alliance and then they launched several campaigns within the Empire. There were no decisions, but one of the outcomes was, or the only outcome was, massive ravages, further devastation of the land. Now, keep in mind, devastation and ravages, that was a characteristic of the entire war. Anyway, at some point, it was clear this war will lead as nowhere, the peace negotiations started in Münster and Osnabrück. It took quite a while, five years, but eventually the Peace of Westphalia was uh, agreed on in 1648. Now, what were the key agreements in the Peace of Westphalia? Several dimensions. First, the denominational dimension, the Augsburg settlement was reconfirmed, meaning that every territory within the empire can choose their religion, and this can't be. Um, challenged or contested from the outside. Protestants and Catholics were equal or were recognized as equal, had the same rights. Now to the political dimension. During, uh, even before the war and then during the war, the states were dissolved, regranted, granted to other parties and so on. Then at some point here it was, the, it was made the decision that we go back to 1624 and uh, the possessions of state at this uh, stage, that's what we take now. So more or less, back to the status quo antebellum. Only exception was the Habsburg land, Habsburg ancestral land. The half house of Habsburg could more or less do whatever they like. The imperial constitution from before the war was restored, so more or less again here, back to the status quo antebellum. The European dimension. Sweden gained territories in the north. The Netherlands and the Swiss Confederacy were independent. Formally independent, de facto independent, um, independence they had before. France gained territories on the western border of the empire. And so the powers shifted from the empire to other countries in Europe. To the consequence and the impact. As mentioned before, the war had devastated the Holy Roman Empire. About 40% of the population died. The country was simply exhausted. The empire remained a confederation with de facto independent states and had no proper access to the sea. And these two facts meant that we have the precondition for its dissolution around 150 years later. Furthermore, it is the precondition for the massive rise of Prussia becoming the fifth great power in Europe. German colonial activities were delayed, as well as the economic and industrial development in Germany. With regards to Europe, the Holy Roman Empire, as mentioned, was a confederation with no nation-state, and therefore was no longer a major political factor. France, England, um, Sweden, the Netherlands, on the other hand, they could strengthen their identities and their structures as nation-states, and could increase their influence and their power. Sweden was the hegemonial power in the north and the Baltic region, while France was the dominant power in the west. Now, last but not least, to the religions, because the war started as a religious war. We have in Germany and actually in Europe the Protestant and Catholic areas established. You can find the same Protestant Catholic areas that were in the Thirty Years' War, you can find them even today. But in the few next centuries, uh, the denominations should not play a major role in the European development 
um, and when it comes to European conflicts. That was the last phase of the Thirty Years' War and the Peace of Westphalia in five.